a physiotherapist and I work in HIV at the Chelsea and Westminster Hospital in London. This conference is important to me because as a physiotherapist I'm interested in how people function, their well-being and independence. And so therefore when thinking about ageing with HIV, me as a rehabilitation professional are very interested in the multi-dimensional issues that people can face ageing with HIV. Yeah, I'm uh, here at the EATG conference in Kiev, and I was especially in shock when uh, yesterday was told that there are 300,000 people living with HIV in Ukraine, and then compare that to the Netherlands, my country, and it's related to the population. It's 500% more HIV here in Ukraine, so that's really incredible, and I think the this situation in Central and Eastern Europe really needs uh, a lot of attention. What, what I think that's really key also in this uh, conference about aging is that uh, a suppressed viral load is not the end point, but it's the beginning. And it's about the quality of life of people living with HIV. That's what we are, we are fighting for. I think this conference, which focuses on aging and HIV, is particularly important and very timely because it gives us a chance to talk about all of the concrete issues around HIV and aging, but also issues like quality of life and health-related quality of life and issues like sexual and reproductive health and mental health and issues that we often don't um, have a chance to talk about when we're very narrowly focusing on just um, HIV and reaching specific targets around HIV. It's really interesting for me because I've been involved in the concept right from the very beginning. Therefore, looking at ageing with HIV, I was a presenter at the women's side of things uh, at the um, over 50s group. And I've been involved in the other two phases in the point of writing the report for EATG. So it's really important to me to make sure that we capture everybody's um, presentations and speeches but also a lot of the questions and answers which are vitally important for community members. I was so uh, excited with these personal stories, you know, it's, it's like uh, advocacy, uh, we can, can't do advocacy without personal involvement. So I think the next step for you is also to see how we can bring some of the messages to the to the local level, working with local communities and uh, healthcare professionals to see how to uh, to adapt some of these tools to local uh, local. Community.